Carter Boatwright comes into motion, the tight end. Parry to the air for the first time, and that pass is caught and then fumbled and fallen on by another owl. Lejante Wester fell on the loose ball. It does not look like the officials are going to mark down the receiver initially. It was Jamal Edrin who made the initial catch and then fumble. Lejante Wester, the motion man, one of the favorite targets of Nikosi Perry. Perry facing pressure, loses the football. Jadrian Taylor knocked it loose, and FAU falls on it. But it'll be a sack fumble. Jadrian Taylor coming off the edge, applying the pressure and blowing up the play. Now the fullback, James Tupo, just to the left of Hardison with Hankins in the backfield. Play action. And they throw it to Tupo, the fullback. And he's rumbling his way down inside the 20-yard line. And for the first time this afternoon, the Miners are in the red zone. Gavin Beckley on the field for a 29-yard attempt from the left hash, and his kick is through for the first points of the afternoon. That is the 13th straight converted field goal for Gavin Beckley. Never looked back, scoring 17 unanswered for the 17-14 win. Here's the give to Mobley. He's got a lot of room. Big run across midfield and up near the 40-yard line, tripped up by Tyreek James. It is very breezy down on the field. Again, the Owls this quarter going into the teeth of that wind. Perry will take his shot through the air, and the pass is caught by Lejante Wester. Boy, that was perfectly placed by Nikosi Perry, and Lejante Wester showing the speed and how he can hurt you. Another eye formation. Roll out for Perry, looking for somewhere to run, but he's got a wall of UTEP defenders, and they lose the football. It's scooped up by Tyreek James. He just has to be one man, but he's tripped up at the 35-yard line. That was nearly a scoop and score touchdown for Tyreek James after a disastrous decision from Nikosi Perry. Some old-fashioned football all of a sudden. You don't see this very often in college football anymore. Play action. Hardison with some time, but running out of it, and he'll go down. Pressure coming from the edge. It was Michael Antoine Jr., now a third and 15, another design quarterback keeper. Hardison finds a hole, and he falls forward, and they're going to mark him, oh boy, just about a half a yard shy. He needed to get to the 44-yard line. Owls need to get to the 47-yard line of UTEP, just beyond it. UTEP brings the blitz. Perry under pressure, throws. Open receiver is Wester, and he's able to make the catch for the first down, just shy of the 30-yard line. Ball marked at the 32-yard line. And now this is McCammon with a big hole. A burst across the 10 and into the end zone for the first touchdown of the afternoon. Just like that, the Owls in front, 6-3. Huge hole for Larry McCammon. Doesn't even get touched until he's almost into the end zone. 32-yard run for McCammon. And Neil, you may remember, was the one. Michael Antoine breaking up the play. He's had a good afternoon so far. Screen pass here. And Awat with a ton of room, cuts it back inside. Awat lowers the shoulder and then is driven out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Boy, Awat just had a sea of green to run on once he caught that ball. 33-yard attempt from dead center. Gavin Beckley's kick is good. Just sneaks through the right up upright. Favorite target has been Wester in the slot. Perry with time, now running out of it. Runs into his own man, and he's going to go down at the 35-yard line. And now you wonder, are they even in field goal range? Hardison to the air. Off of Ray Flores' hands and intercepted. Picked off on the play by T.J. Young, and he's got a cavalry in front of him. Young inside the 30, in the inside the 20, and he'll take it all the way for a pick six. And the air is taken out of the Sun Bowl. Fans are absolutely stunned. Yeah, there are two defenders right away, that got upfield right away and forced Hardison to make an air throw. It's Young's second pick six of the season. He returned one 64 yards for a touchdown again. Plenty of time left on the play clock, still 23 seconds. And now here's Hankins trying to run downhill, has a seam. Hankins across midfield in a foot race. Dion Hankins is going to go almost all the way, tripped up at the last second. 
What a great play. And now first and goal from the five, and all of a sudden life back inside the Sun Bowl. Hardison on the keeper, will scamper in untouched. And just like that, the Miners back to it in two. Maybe they're just trying to ride that momentum, and points have been such a premium, they don't know how many chances they're going to get. Hardison rolling out, was initially looking for Tyron Smith, now going to the backside to Trent Thompson, who's open. And the conversion for two points ties this thing up with 3.57 to play in the third quarter, 14 apiece. It paid off. Third and four. Try and get it on the ground. Hankins has another big hole. Inside the 20. Hankins cut down inside the 10. It's a first down. And now goal to go for UTEP. A good call, Eric. Another play action. Hardison looking to the back of the end zone. Now will settle for Ray Flores at the goal line. He's in for six. He was looking for the tight end. Didn't like what he saw. And all of a sudden looked and there was Ray Flores wide open at the goal line. And the Miners retake the lead for the first time since the first half. I haven't seen McCammon on this drive. They're going to throw it to Th Ford on the wheel route. Makes the one-handed catch before he's upended. Takes a huge shot from Tyreek James. Perry will operate from under center. Play action. Looking to the backside, a tight end wide open, and it's caught for the touchdown. Boy, Austin Evans just leaked out of there, and no one was within a few yards of him, and that was executed to perfection, and just like that, FAU back within one. So second and ten, on the ground to Awad. There's a hole for Awad across the 35, still on his feet, up to the 30-yard line, and now the Miners are in field goal range with a first down. Clock temporarily stops with 1.18 to go. Four seconds left, Gavin Beckley. For the win, it's good! And UTEP improves the four and four on the year and takes this one over FAU 24-21. It is a walk-off win for Gavin Beckley and the Miners. Four seconds left, Gavin Beckley. For the win, it's good! And UTEP improves the four and four on the year and takes this one over FAU 24-21. It is a walk-off win for Gavin Beckley and the Miners.